Welcome back everybody, my name is Taylor Martin. This is the best MDC and it's time for another video. And today I've got something a little different for you, mainly a couple of updates on the status of the office and some other stuff that I've been meaning to get you guys caught up on. So first things first, I am very, very excited for this came in while I was out of town this weekend. And man, I wanted to open it immediately, but I figured I would wait and open it with you guys. So here we are, let's get this thing open using my new favorite knife, the Pena X-Series Front Flipper Trapper. Boy, this thing's beautiful. Uh, very lucky to get one of these. And uh, if, if there was another drop, buy one, because they get gone quick. This thing is awesome. And this is actually gonna be the first thing I even cut with this knife. Let's get in here, because I've been waiting for this for years, literally years. Um, I've been trying to reach this goal for a very long time. So let's open this up. It's, it's so generic to be unboxing a, a play button, but you know, it's also sort of tradition at this point. You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of reality behind that six digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think, and we're rooting for you. Congratulations. Yours sincerely, Susan. Ooh. So they've changed these up a lot over the years, but man, just seeing this in writing, it feels good. Like, I'm, I'm a little choked up. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm not going to lie at all. This has been a long time coming. More hard work and hours than you guys know. Um, you've seen all the videos, but uh, what a lot of you don't know is that I, I've been working for this much longer than this channel's been around. And uh, I gave up. It started over from scratch. That made it even harder. And uh, for it to finally be here, just, boy, just, I want to take it in for a second. Feels so good. But I'm not even sure how to say thank you, uh, other than thank you guys so much. 100,000. That's a crazy, crazy number. So thank you guys. And here's to the next milestone, which according to YouTube is a million, but I mean, 200,000 is pretty crazy to me. So uh, we're well on our way there. So this thing, I think I'm gonna replace the knives poster with this, and I'm gonna put the knives poster on another wall. I feel like this deserves to be in the set. The next order of business is showing you guys what I've done with the space. I'm not done yet. I know I keep saying that. I need to like come in on a weekend and finish up and I, I don't have enough furniture to fill this place yet. So it's really gonna be a work in progress and it's gonna be completed over time. Like I'm gonna have to acquire pieces of furniture for the office because I, I can't just buy everything. I, <laughs> I've spent too much money uh, just getting it the way it is over the last several weeks. So I've got to just piece together some things. I need more furniture for this little lounge area. Um, got to figure out where I'm putting carry commission for now. Next month, I'm going to be moving carry commission into the office next door. Uh, but for the time being, I need a place to put it in here. Let me show you what I've done. So as you can see, this is the set. This is pretty much set up and ready to go. I've got some stuff that I need to, to clean up and trash I still need to clean out. But this is the set. So this is what you see in my sit down multi angle videos that I've been doing for so long. So this is primary camera that I run, that's an A7 III that I run on the, the A cam. The camera I'm currently holding is the A7 R3. That is typically my B cam, which I have on this tripod angled something remotely like that. And then I have a C cam up here, which is the A6500 doing the top down with a little Sennheiser mic that's not a Rode. It's a Sennheiser mic. But, uh, it's actually not mine. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta give this back to my friend. Um, but I have a ceiling mount rig for this, just for the overhead, which is really convenient. Uh, and then I have a ceiling mounted light there that I'm not using. And I have two of these studio lights: a uh, Godox SL60 and a Godox SL150. And these things are what make the lighting look so good in here. As you can see, I haven't done anything with the carpet. I tried to clean it. I think for the foreseeable future the best thing to do is just get some area rugs and cover up <laughs> this but area rugs are expensive um, i moved this leather couch in here this was actually from just a few doors down 
and it was a pain to get in here. I know why the people left it, but it's in great condition and it's very, very comfy. I've got storage here. I'm going to put different things on the wall here. Probably not leave these hooks here, but I do have those there. Little cart with camera gear on it. I've got another cart. I'm going to have to get some more carts, but these are probably going to end up in my closet for storage. I got to hang these up still. Um, but uh, lots of organization stuff needs to be <laughs> purchased for this room. This is my desk, which is a total mess right now. You'll see why I have all these knives out in a minute. Um, but the, the desk situation is also going to change. So I've got a Windows tower that I built and I have a MacBook Pro and I'm currently trying to figure out the best way forward because I'm really, really, really sick of editing on Windows. I'm so tired of it, but this is really the main part of the office that's not finished, and it's just this this acoustic foam wall. I really just have to take the time to start gluing these panels to these Luon boards that I have adhered to the tile, and it's just, it takes time that I haven't had because I've been making, trying to get back to making more videos for you guys. The only other thing that I really have to focus on and fix is all the overspray from <laughs> from painting so much overspray i used a shield and man it did nothing the the overspray from this the sprayer was just intense so i had like a three foot wide shield and it just it didn't matter so i'm gonna have to uh, i thought about painting these ceiling tiles black which i may still do but i will have to go through and paint all of the the grid back to white and that'll make it look much better. Uh, but yeah, that's just a that's just a minor detail. It'll look better, but it's something that most people aren't ever going to see. But I also want to get rid of all these water spots that just, they don't look good. They look really bad. So I will at least be replacing those tiles that are damaged. But that's, that's pretty much it. The studio is almost finished. I need stuff. There's a lot of empty space in here, but it's starting to come together. And like I said, in this area, I'm going to be hanging stuff on the walls that you guys send. So if you do want to send something to be put on the walls and displayed, I have a P.O. box down below. And you can send it, and I'll use hooks and put it up there because I have 96 slat wall hooks here. And I can also get some slat wall shelves to hang or sit stuff on. But yeah, that's the office in its almost completed state. One thing I would like to add to my office for at least the next month or so is uh, a Christmas tree. I bought this earlier today because I had a pretty cool idea. And uh, maybe it's a dumb idea. I don't, it's probably a dumb idea. But I'm going to see it through anyway because, well, I'm excited for this. And I, I like the idea. Maybe you will too. Probably not. Pro probably not. But we're going to get the tree open and set up. And then I'm going to tell you one last little bit of information, which is an update on the Suru. I want to tell you what it was like carrying it for a month and what my thoughts are. And uh, hopefully this thing doesn't look too terribly fake. It does. It does. It's very good. It's very fake looking. Oh well. It was like 20 bucks. Possibly the stupidest thing I've done on this channel, but also it's kind of cool. Oh, so maybe that was a dumb idea. I don't know. 
I think it's kind of cool back there. I like it and uh, it was fun. Who else has an EDC Christmas tree? If you do, let me know, I'll be impressed. But uh, yeah, that's gonna stay back there in the corner for now. Let's talk Suru because I carried this knife for the entire month of November without fail. I picked it up every morning, it did not hesitate. Uh, I love this knife and I, I loved it before I did that thing. It wasn't necessarily a challenge to carry the knife, it was more of a challenge to carry the same knife for 30 days straight because I always want to switch out for different things. I had the James Brand Carter come in, I had the Pena X-Series Front Flipper Trapper come in, and it was tough to continue carrying the Suru, but I did it. And uh, this knife, this knife right here, got me through a lot of this, this office restoration. I did a lot of cutting, and uh, I didn't even have to put an edge back on it right up until the end of the month after I did a bunch of cutting to get the boards on the wall. I actually cut a bunch of industrial Velcro with it and uh, that stuff's pretty pretty strong. If you've not cut it before, it's, it's not like a fabric side and a loop side, like a hook and loop. It's, it's two halves that are the exact same material. They're hard plastic like nubs that interlock. That stuff is intense. It's like $30 for a 10 foot roll. And uh, this knife cut through it like butter. The one thing about this knife that I'm not a huge fan of is that it's not a great slicer. This is not really great for a ton of food prep. Like you can cut stuff with it, but it's definitely not gonna be as good as something like a Bug Out or a Spidey Chef for food prep, or even like a Benchmade 940. This knife will get the job done, but you're limited by blade length and the stock thickness. This is a very chunky blade. I don't know the exact thickness of that. Uh, but that just means that it's very, very thick behind the edge. Sharpening was also interesting because this knife is almost entirely belly. So to sharpen it on the work sharp, I had to basically just rotate, uh, which is which is an interesting change from a lot of the other knives where it's pulled and followed the edge of the blade. You follow the edge of your blade on the Suru and it's basically just a rotation. What can I say about the Suru that I haven't already said really? Um, it's fantastic. I've not had a single issue out of this knife. Not once have I tried to deploy it using the flipper tab and it not fully deploy or spidey flick it or even thumb flick it. Uh, the first sewer I got, the detent was way too hard to thumb flick or even spidey flick for a while. It took me a long time. This one I can actually thumb flick, although it's a little difficult. Um, action is absolutely perfect. Blade centering is perfect. Lockup is like 25, 30%. It's a really nice early lockup. No blade play, no issues whatsoever. And uh, I've just really, truly fallen in love with this. I will continue to carry it, I love it. I've, I've always loved the Suru. I think it's a badass little knife. I think it's underrated by a lot of people. A lot of people don't like the holes design. There are some out there without holes. They're kind of hard to find, but they're out there. So in that same vein, something that I've toyed with doing for a while now is carrying a fixed blade and as I've explained in the past, there's a little bit of a challenge in North Carolina in that they are legal to carry, but only for open carry. To conceal carry it, I believe you have to have a CCW, and even then I'm not sure fixed blades are covered under that. I think maybe they are, but open carry is perfectly legal. I just don't know a good way to open carry a fixed blade. Um, as long as really any of it is showing and it is very obvious that it's a knife, it's legal. And I don't think I would get a ton of harassment by law enforcement for concealed carrying it, but I'd like to also stay within the law. So I'm gonna try to figure that out. Uh, that's why I'm not doing it for the month of December. I wanna figure a few things out. If you want me to do that and carry a fixed blade for an entire month, let me know and I'll start in January. Although I must admit there's gonna be some travel, so it's not gonna be a full month, but it'll be good enough, I think. Um, I, I don't know that I'll be able to do full months of anything anymore because next year there's a lot of travel plans. So tentatively, January, I wanna carry a fixed blade for the duration of any of the time that I'm in North Carolina. If you wanna see that happen, just let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video and enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this because this is different. It's kind of low key, it's a little more laid back and uh, I think it's a little more fun. So. Uh, if you did like this video and enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you wanna support what I'm doing here, hit the links down below. Those are usually affiliate links, which if you purchase anything using those links, I get a little bit of a kickback and it just helps support the show. You can also go to Carry Commission or carry.best where you can purchase gear directly from me. I've got merch, stickers, 
I also have branded gear. I have stuff that I've customized myself. I also have a Best MEDC Griffin Pocket Tool. Those are back in stock right now. So go to carry.best to purchase stuff directly from me, or you can go to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc to support there. Be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at bestmedc. And with that said, and until next time, carry on.